God. We are worshiping the greatest entity in all existence. We are worshiping and standing before the Almighty God. There is no one like Him in all of the heavens. There is none like Him in all of the earth. There are nothing that is greater than Him, both visible and invisible. We worship the Almighty God, the omnipresent God, the omnipotent God, the mighty King, the glorious Lord. We worship you and we extol you. We come into a place of adoration as we extol and exalt the greatness of who you are. You, you, you alone are great. You alone are mighty. You alone are faithful. You alone, oh God, have the greatest love and act of love ever known and given and demonstrated among men. And we worship you. The blood, the blood of Yeshua cries out is the greatest act that has ever been done. Oh God, we worship you. And because of that, the angels cry out with us. Holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord, holy is the Lord, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God. Holy is the Lord. We worship you. Come on, some of you need to go deeper. God's waiting for some of you to lift your hands for the first time. Some of you, he's just waiting for you to lift your hand to say, why? It's a sign of surrender. As my hands are lifted now, not only is it a sign that my heart is lifted, but my life is surrendered to God. And my hand is lifted. As I reach for him, I reach for his face. I reach for his heart. I reach for his company. I reach for companionship. I reach for friendship. God, I reach for more than what I have now as my soul longs for you. My spirit thirsts for you. My physical body, I lift in honor to you as I worship you. So you need to close your eyes and focus upon the one who loves you who died for you, who gave everything for you. And we need to give him thanks. We need to show gratitude and worship. Worship you. Your name is so holy. Oh God, we worship you. Oh, how we worship. We worship you. I stand in the earth and not just in the place of the heavens but I am standing upon your earth at this time this is my earth and the fullness thereof and my feet have rested upon this earth to show the earth at this time who their creator is to show the earth at this time what justice and what righteousness looks like and I stand upon the earth at this time when men have shook their fists and mocked me and pushed me out, so they think. But do you really think that you will be able to push me out of the history that I am writing at this time? And the history that I shall arise and write and declare that shall bring honor to my son and I will glorify my people in my sight do you really think that those who are haters of what is good and they call what is evil good 
and what is good evil. Do you think that this is their day? For there was a moment when the Christ was hanging upon the cross and one rose up and mocked him. What did the Christ do? Father, forgive them. Why? Because something was about to be resurrected. You have seen the mockery. You have seen what blatant evil looks like. You have seen the agenda of hell working and cooperating with the will of mankind. Do you think that the Christ is silent? Do you think that God has ignored the prayers of those who have prayed and cried out? Yet once again, something shall arise. Something shall be resurrected in the earth and it will be known and seen throughout the earth. You say, God, what is it that you speak of? I speak of my honor. I speak of my glory. For there was a moment when Israel stood as Pharaoh and his army pursued. Yet I said to Moses, lift up your rod, go forward. For I will get my honor upon Pharaoh and upon his army. And I did, and I delivered a nation. And I drowned the attempts and the agenda of evil. And so this is what I say to you who are discerning. Yet once again, I will get my honor upon this generation. I will get my honor upon you, United States. I will get my honor upon the nations of the earth. And I will drown the attempts of the enemy to preempt what he desires. And that is to bring the earth into the final conflict and bloodshed to bring about a globalism of a new order yet God says this is my reset not theirs therefore pay attention you have seen men arise as they were promised keepers yet women shall arise now and they shall keep the promise that they shall watch over their children they will watch over their loved ones. They will watch over their homes. And there shall be gatherings among women that you will see arise in the months and the days ahead that shall cause great fear into the very bowels of hell and those even in the earth. For why are women arising to stand for their children? And why are the men standing so it would seem in the shadow but yet they are standing as their wives their mothers their grandparents great grandparents stand and say we shall stand with God and our children for what is right in this nation and when you see this happen says the living God you will know that there is very closely my coming once again upon families, marriages, children, homes, schools, universities, your laws, your politics. Yes, even those in the place of the White House and the Congress and the Senate. This will be a sign of what is to come. Where I say there was a day where the wives and the children and the men stood with swords in one hand and a hammer in the other to rebuild the walls this would be a sign unto this nation that the rebuilding and the resetting their divine reversals have now been set in place and I'm bringing great restoration at this time to this country that will be like a domino that will begin to affect other nations and this I speak as you see it throughout the spring and into the fall as they stand the woman being anointed and appointed to drive the stake into the headships of those who think that they can get away with what they have done to the children and the injustice that they have brought forth not so this is why pay attention 
in your politics have already anointed have already appointed a woman who shall arise you already see her you know who she is and yet she is hidden in the purpose of who she is and what she will bring to this country you have seen what a woman looks like who is bent on power who cooperates with evil spirits like Jezebel you have seen them in your places of government but you have never seen what an anointed woman looks like in the place of high power and authority but you will you say oh God but we have one as vice president no you do not do not make me laugh what you have is counterfeit what I speak of shall be the real because it shall be given as a gift by your God in your hour that has come now of truth liberty and justice says the living God lift up your hands and begin to worship him man this is holy ground right now come on worship him Come on, sing it him. We're where the earth be without your justice. Come on, come on, sing it out. Oh, this is a holy moment. I see the Lord standing in the spirit before me 
and I see him wearing a kingly crown. I'm serious. And he's glittering and glistening in the glory of who he is. And I see him wearing a kingly robe and he's doing this with his robe. And as we were singing and declaring it, he was moving in with us. As our king, he shall stand. His verdict shall stand in the earth. And he is standing because the enemy shall be made subject to him. You are king of kings and you are lord of lords. We fear you. Man, I saw him standing as king. I think we need to say this to him. Yeshua, we stand with you. We stand with you and what you stand for. We are on the Lord's side. Therefore, as a result, preserve our life. Preserve our health. Preserve our family. Preserve our marriages. Preserve our children. Preserve our pets, our vehicles, our homes, our property, our possessions. Because we're sealed today by the Holy Spirit of promise and the blood covenant that we have with you, Yeshua. I give him a big shout of praise. We worship. talking about I don't know about you I wouldn't want to go to some church where they got some organ that you're waiting for you know some creature to come out of the floor or something even though I'm okay with organs I like the B3 but I wouldn't want to go to a dead church where you know they can professionally sing but can you bring God does God show up and you have to be about as dull as a telephone pole if you didn't feel God in here this morning. That's why when I was telling you to close your eyes and lift your hands, I'm just trying to help you so you can get rid of some of your dullness and get a touch from God. <laughs> wow, man, I saw the face of the Lord. I'm, man, I am so undone, God. I saw you standing here in your kingly robe. I am undone, man. Oh, my eyes have seen the glory of the Lord. Man, God, I don't want to do anything else after that. My Lord. Stand, oh my children, God. stand for the nation. Stand, because the kingdom is at hand.
need to take a deep breath. Those of you that are watching, listen. I believe there's somebody in this room, you, you uh, have to use uh, oxygen machine sometimes for your breathing, but God is healing you. You don't even have, I'm serious. God's touching you. Just take a deep breath. Those of you that are watching, you're having breathing problems. Come on. Lung issues, coughing. Just take a deep breath. Man, when I was out in Colorado last weekend, man, I was like this a few times. But you know what? Take a deep breath. I'm serious. Somebody in this room, God just healed you. Where you're going to see <laughs> with that. Wow. And I want you to testify about this. By the way, how many remember a couple weeks ago, we called out someone with a rash. Remember that? It was online. And they, they wrote. And God, they had been dealing with it for months. And sorry if I'm butchering your testimony, uh, wonderful lady. But um, you had been dealing with it for a long time. God completely, or she doesn't have any more. So, you know, the Lord is doing something. So just take a deep breath. You didn't do it. Take a deep breath. Amen. Amen. There you go. All right. Why don't you do this? Man, that was, what that, that was a lot of fun. So why don't you greet one another? And um, you don't have to say anything like, I bet I know. But if you want to, you can. And if, if you do, say, I bet I know. I bet I know what you want for your birthday. All right. Greet one another.